Smith Wigglesworth, a man who knew what it was to see the power of God said, I tell you, I never saw a man get anything from God who prayed on the earth level. If you get anything from God, you will have to pray right into heaven for all you want is there. If you're living an earthly life all taken up with sensual things and expect things from heaven, they will never come. God wants us to be a heavenly people seated with him in the heavenlies and laying hold of all the things in heaven that are at our disposal. Pastor Bill Johnson says there are times when a breakthrough is close at hand, but there are times when if it's not pursued with biblical principles and tools, although it was promised by God, although it is living as a potential and as a promise, it will never be realised unless those principles are followed. So in this session, we're going to look at the spiritual practice of fasting. Fasting, along with prayer, worship and the reading of scripture, are just a few of the spiritual practices described in the Bible that are given to us by God to develop and sustain relationship with him. And I say spiritual practice because that's exactly what it is, a practice. You see, if I want to become competent at riding a bike and in turn receive from it the enjoyment of being able to travel anywhere I like on my bike, then I must first put in the practice. I don't simply wake up one morning and expect to be able to ride a bike. No, I commit to learning because of the reward set before me. The enjoyment is both in the learning and in growing in that competency. It's the same with the, uh, with the spiritual practices and particularly with the practice of fasting. So in this session, I want to help you learn how to fast, how to begin to put into practice if you've never done it before, or how to continue growing in this practice so that you can receive from all that Jesus has for you in this area. For a more comprehensive teaching on the what and the why of fasting, do check out my message on faith and fasting, which we will link you to below. But in summary, fasting is to primarily be a response to God and his revealed nature, not a formula to get results. Fasting is an act of faith, which requires both our obedience and dependence on God. And thirdly, fasting done faithfully will deeply change the person who engages with God through it. And in the quotes I shared at the start of this session, Both Smith Wigglesworth and Bill Johnson suggest that there are deeper things in God which are available to those who pursue him wholeheartedly and with the practices he has given us. We need to lean into the full set of practices God has given us to attain to the deeper things that he has promised. Let's not leave fasting on the side. Let's lean into it together. So let's pause and reflect for a moment. Maybe at this point, you want to take a moment to check out my message, Faith and Fasting. My hope is that it will stir a hunger in your heart and encourage you as you explore the rest of this session. Alternatively, why don't you take a few minutes to write down your thoughts on biblical fasting? Have you ever done it before? How did you find it? Are you convinced of its importance to developing a thriving relationship with God?